I'm going to do a test on these uh, Lord brand uh, razor blades. Uh, they claim to be super stainless. Hasn't been my experience, but I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Been using a, a ordinary razor. This is supposed to be brass, and my experience is they haven't been all that super stainless. So I'm going to run a test. If you look on the razor blade, right up here and right there, and along over here and down here where it comes in contact with the uh, brass razor, it appears to be rusting. So here's the razor itself. You can see it's stained on where it was, where the razor blade was touching it, but the brass of the razor doesn't seem to be corroding itself. And the same is true with the headpiece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the razor blades and I'm going to put it in a little dish with a piece of brass and a piece of stainless and take one blade, put it in there, and then every day I'm going to add a little bit of shaving cream water and what a shaving cream mixed with water and I'm going to see if after a week and then after two weeks, the razor blade is rusty or not. So here's my brass washer, my stainless washer for kind of whatever, and a brand new razor blade. So get it out of there so you can see there's no rust on it. And we'll put it in here. Then we'll go mix up our solution of foam. I'm putting this little bottle so I'm just going to do some foam and some water and every day I'm going to sprinkle this and let it dry out so it will be a normal cycle of like when you shave and you know razor gets wet and you set it out it dries out and so on so. Okay let's begin the test. Here's our combination of shaving cream and water our stainless washer and our brass washer. So I just want them damp like when you shave and you know, the water that stays inside the razor, that's about it. Let it evaporate. Okay, and there's day one. This is the beginning of the day three and we're clearly starting to get rust. Brass isn't holding up very well, but the real stainless washer is. Let's look on the bottom side. Yeah, there's clearly rust underneath there. So this is only the beginning of day three. Yeah, so typically you know, if you use a razor blade for a week, uh, then uh, this is going to build up. But let's continue our experiment. Let's uh, apply today's shaving cream and water solution okay then on to day four it's the beginning of day four and it's clearly rusting as you can see uh, the brass washer is taking it kind of hard and you can see more rust down here so I'm going to modify this experiment. I'm going to uh, take and clean off a bit the brass and stainless washer. I'm going to set them on top of the razor blade and I want to see the chemical reaction between the different metals. So this is beginning of day four and clearly it's, uh, it is rusting. So here's, uh, here's the change to our experiment. I'm going to uh, just place the washers on top of the razor blade see if there's a chemical reaction that's better or worse when they're in contact with brass and stainless uh, but clearly the razor blade has failed the rust test so let's just see how, more, how much more extreme it is when it comes in contact with other metals. I'm also going to uh, make another change to the experiment. I'm just going to use plain water uh, because I think there's enough shaving cream as you can see over here uh, already there so I don't think I need to add any more Okay, so let's see what happens tomorrow on day five. 
Well, here we are at the beginning of day five, and you can see it's just rusting. There's and where the brass washer touches it, which is a, the razor is made out of brass, so where the brass washer's near it, it's really rusting, and on the bottom it's even worse. You can see right there is where the brass washer is, clearly seriously rusting. Here we are at day six, and as you can see, it's rusting all over the place. This is a stainless steel washer, it doesn't show any signs of rust, and in fact, where it comes in contact with the blade, it uh, doesn't show any acceleration. The brass, where it's in contact with it, actually seems to speed up the, the rusting. You can see that spot right there is where it's in contact. So I guess the moral of the story is we're going to use cheap razor blades that rust, by a stainless steel handle and not a brass handle, but it's very clear from, from this uh, test that the blade itself is not stainless. I got one more test to run to see if it is in fact stainless steel, and I'll show you that and we'll do a summary. Well here's a test I haven't shown you yet, and I've got a magnet over here, and as you probably know, brass is not magnetic. Stainless comes in two varieties, weakly magnetic and not magnetic. And this washer, as you can see, is just barely magnetic, doesn't want to really stick. And then there's, boom, yeah, this is strongly magnetic, I don't even have to, yeah, it doesn't want to release. Uh, just can get it near it and it'll suck it right up, so about an inch away and it's pulling it right into it. So I have every reason to doubt this is stainless steel. Um, could be wrong, but kind of doubt it. And yeah, so it's certainly not stainless when it comes to rust. It does rust and it is strongly magnetic. So I'm doubting it's stainless steel. Well, that's my review and opinion on this and hope you found it useful and interesting.